Hello again, um, another beautiful day, another beautiful bottle of wine. Uh, this was for another sort of little family celebration. So as we discussed many times, there's always a good reason to open a nice bottle of wine. So that's what we did. And this is a, just a beautiful wine by uh, Peter Michael. It's Le Pavot 2003. We've discussed uh, Peter Michael before when we had the 2009 uh, together, if you want to go back and look at that video. A beautiful property that was started in the early 80s, up in Knights Valley, up sort of where Napa Valley and Sonoma kind of uh, meet. Higher in elevation, volcanic soil on the slopes of Mount Helena, southwestern exposure, really kind of complex soil that gives interesting uh, tones to the wine. Le Pavot was his first vineyard, so and then the property has expanded since they have properties in Oakville, they're making Chardonnay, Pinot, other, but this was his first wine. Uh, first uh, uh, bottling was 1987, I think. Uh, and so th this this is a wine vineyard, but a Bordeaux blend. It's all, it's, so it's a single vineyard wine. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, about 62%, 61, 62%, about 20% Cabernet Franc, 15%. Merlot and 5% Petit Vido. You do the math, it's, it's about uh, that. And, and uh, the Pavot means poppy. And this was, the name came from the poppy fields in the area before. And you can see that sort of flower here on the label. Sorry, the label is in really bad shape, but that's how I bought it. And it really doesn't have any impact uh, on the wine. Anyway, 2003, they feel was pretty good growing season. It was a little wet in the spring, but the summer made up for it. And they actually harvested at the end of October, which is kind of incredible when we think about it, because right now everybody's harvesting like in the middle of September or something, just because uh, the summers have been so hot. In any case, uh, you look at the color, it's just really deep and dark. And I, and I think uh, to me, it seems darker than the 2009, kind of an interesting concept, although it's the same blend, same vineyard. And the, the nose, as soon as you pour the wine, the, it fills the room, you know, with these flavors of, of uh, Cabernet, you know, the, the dark fruit, a little bit of that sort of leather, cigar, you know, mixed in, but sort of the richness, the lushness of it really, you can feel it from like, the, you know, from all the way across the table, you can smell it. And here, it's just even more prominent, I get a lot of, dark blueberry, you know, that sort of, and, and you get a little bit of that sweetness, not not a lot, but th this is typical of his wines. I mean, he's he's really tries to make more restrained wines. And uh, just the, the, the glycerine, you know, also the, the, the sort of alcohol. It, and it's unfined, unfiltered, as we discussed, so you're going to have this sort of cloudiness in the liquid. Still has an amazing finish that we described in 2009. That's kind of the thing that really hits you. It's just kind of everywhere. It's, it's tannic, but, but soft. It's fruity, a little bit of vanilla, very, very soft, but really nothing to, to kind of say impart sweetness. There's that, that sort of uh, dark cocoa, you know, tone that you get in these Cabernets. And it just, it's diffused, you know, all over sort of your, your mouth and your palate. It's still, it's still a lot of fruit on this one. It's almost not less advanced in terms of development than the 2009 we had. I feel, I mean, again, these wines, they're just amazing. After 15 years, after 25 years, you're going to get different, different experiences. And you can't necessarily pick. So you, I guess you have to <laughs> have enough of them, which I don't, to be able to taste them and sample them at different periods. But uh, incredibly well-made, incredibly balanced, uh, 
just kind of the best of what California and Bordeaux bring together in terms of still the presence of the fruit, but not overwhelming, but also the restraint, the structure that you get from these aged Bordeaux. It's just, I think these are the, the Bordeaux that only uh, Napa knows how to make. And uh, thank God, you know, they make them. So cheers and uh, see you soon.